Hooray, I have a Mark II Atari Lynx. But it won't play any games. But we're going to fix that right now. The Atari Lynx is a lovely little console, but this one won't play any of my carts. It keeps asking me to insert game. As you can see, the game is inserted. Let's try reseating the cart. Pressing power, and the same message appears again. Sad times. As you can see, I have quite a few carts for the Lynx, and they all fail in slightly different ways. A clue to the possible cause of this is apparent on the contacts of this game. A good many of the Lynxes around today have spent a long time languishing in lofts, with the carts rattling around loosely in dusty boxes. It's worth mentioning that an Atari Lynx shouldn't power on without a cartridge installed at all, so that message is a bit weird. Let's concentrate on three carts for this video. First, blue lightning. No amount of stabbing at the power button will get the machine to power on. Next, California games. We get a lit screen and then the insert game error. We'll also try Gates of Zendicon. Placing it firmly in the slot and pressing the on button again produces the insert game complaint from the links. So what's the answer I hear you say? Well, most of the time, it's simply cleaning. Here I have a roll of low-tack Captain Tape. I'm going to try to use this to protect the cart label. The labels are usually coated, so generally resistant to liquid, but this can prevent possible abrasion. I'll try to pop a little bit of contact cleaner on the contacts. This can can be a bit lively though. And we're simply going to rub the contacts with a clean cotton bud. I never realised how dirty this was. Gently peeling the tape off. And that's looking a lot better. Same treatment for California games. A little contact cleaner. But rubbing these contacts is different from before. They're more pitted and a lot rougher. The cotton bud is getting much dirtier. And the contacts are simply not coming clean. Let's try a more drastic approach. Brass O metal polish. If it's good enough for the Queen, it's good enough for me. Brass O can be quite an aggressive compound, so it's to be used with care. It can take off plating, so it's best used quickly and only in difficult circumstances. I'm wiping this off with a cotton pad as quickly as I can. I can see some brasso has also gone under the tape, but no harm done. Look at that grunge. 
Now, because Brasso is a polish and not a cleaner, I'm going to clean off the contacts with some more electrical contact cleaner. Please excuse the lack of tape. I was feeling brave. I have four of these carts. No excuse though. That being said, I'm really impressed with the results here. It's not perfect, but compared to the last dirty card, the two cleaned cards are looking so much better. Let's clean that last card. I've never played Gates of Zendikon, and the contacts are really dirty. Some more of that capped on tape. This cart has even rougher contacts than the California Games cart. So rough and filthy, and not in a good way. If you work brass so too hard on electrical contacts, it can remove a layer of the metal. In this case, it's not really a choice. The oxidization and dirt are quite extreme. I can literally feel the corroded surface as I clean. After a while, I just give up and polish off the cart fingers with a cotton pad. Then of course, we need to clean off the contacts with some contact cleaner. I buff up with another one of Mrs. Fix's Stuff's cotton pad thingamajigs. jigs. I genuinely don't know if this cart will ever work. Now let's take that capped on tape off peeling gently at an acute angle. Whilst it might not be perfect, it looks so much better than before. The moment of truth. Let's try California games first. What did we forget? Well, the cart slot will be filthy. Pick a card, any card. Because a playing card is the perfect size for the Lynx's slot. Now I have some new J cloth. And a sharp craft knife. I cut the already folded cloth to the same size as the card. When wrapped around a waxed playing card, this makes the best thin slot cleaning tool. It can be hard to see, so let's look at an exposed Lynx motherboard. As you can see, the contacts are on the screen side of the slot. We don't want anything too thick that might bend or damage the pins, so the card and cloth fit perfectly. We'll need a bit of contact cleaner here now. I don't recommend Brasso for this because it can be messy and hard to clean out of the slot. Okay, the real moment of truth. Hitting the power button lights the screen, a good sign. And joy wells in our collective fixing hearts as California Games springs into life. Next up for the test is Gates of Zendikon. I'm actually really nervous as I press the button. But Gates of Zendikon also roars into life. Finally, let's try Blue Lightning. The console actually turns on now. Yes! Ah, 
I love this intro. It's amazing. So, a little cleaning fixed this console right up. I'll be cleaning the dust out of the bezel in another video when I fit this modern LCD screen. Hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to subscribe and hit the bell. See you soon. Bye.